Yum, yum! Hi, this is Alex for Pixel Fondue. A friend sent me this image. It contains a few render elements and he was wondering how to use in specific these six render elements which are light select passes. I'll quickly hop over to Modo to show how to set up light selects. I'm using Modo but the process is pretty similar in any other V-Ray uh, capable DCC. So a light select is a render element which we just add here and then you can select which lights the light select should affect. Let's add three more because we have three lights in the scene. And if we refresh our RT preview, you can see the light select in here. And what that will do is render each light individually in addition to the final image. And that is exactly what we have here. Uh, we have the beauty pass, and then we have all the individual lights that were used in the scene. And since light is just a linear additive operation, we can simply plus those layers together. So I think I have them all, which will give you uh, final result, which is not 100% match because there probably was some VFB exposure changes done on the render, but we can easily get there or to a very similar result in here. But the beauty of this is not to replicate the final render result because then we can just use the final render result. The beauty of this is that you now have control over each light separately. Let's take uh, let's take this one and get rid of this one and say instead of a blue, we now want a deep red light from that side and then maybe brighter and maybe even more color. And let's pump up the volume here. And as you can see that that'll give you a very uh, quick way to test out lights and environments and uh, that one's not so great. Let's do some hideous green here. And as you can see, these changes are, are really quick and uh, you can work very iteratively uh, very quickly and get a look that's completely different from what you had in your render. So you could pump out different variations of the same scene just by adjusting a few lights in comp without having to re-render the scene. Or you could even do uh, a little animation just in comp with the lights fading up just like that uh, without having to render what is that 200 frames of animating lights in 3d and that's really the the whole magic behind the light selects uh, getting access to the individual lights and having control over it in comp um, I've shown it in nuke the process is really the same in Fusion. Let me quickly.
quickly. I mean, you get the idea. Uh, pure process infusion is really, really similar. You have your different light select passes and you channel boolean add them together and then you can blend them with the blend property here. And then of course you can just add uh, color corrections to that as well. Um, same goes for uh, Photoshop or Affinity Photo. In Affinity Photo, uh, you have your layers separately and you just uh, set the blending mode to add, which will give you the same effect. And in Photoshop, the mode would be linear dodge. And uh, that's it. Have fun with light selects and uh, happy comping. Yum, yum!